When I showed you all my unpainted mini, one was actually missing from that pile. And that is my mini for Shark the Vidalcan Hybrid, Rune Knight. And he wasn't in that pile just because he's in my go-to box whenever we play. But I don't really have a proper mini for him to begin with. The one I'm using is a standard WizKids one and it's fine. It symbolizes a fighter, but it doesn't quite embody the character. Because, to be honest, finding a Vidalcan anything is really, really hard. And then finding a hybrid that has some animal features in there is even harder. So I thought maybe let's just jump into Hero Forge and make our own mini. This is probably obvious, but it's not sponsored at all. I've used Hero Forge in the past and it's a good program. And it's probably the easiest way to make custom minis that look good. All right, on the right, I have some reference images, just Google Vidalcan, and that is probably fine, as well as some reference images for a real life person named Alex Honnold. He's a climber, Shark is a climber, so just from a physicality standpoint, this makes perfect sense. But now let's get into Hero Forge. And first of all, we gotta get rid of a bunch of things here. The Dawkins don't have hair, Shark does not have hair. Um, let's get rid of this outfit for now. Maybe let's put just for decency here some, uh, some shorts on, some athletic shorts. Yes, that's perfect. And you know what, because it gives me the ability, I'm gonna put some paint on him. For now, let's keep the human shaped body as well as legs. But let's amp up. First of all, he is a lot taller. Yeah, six, seven, six, eight. And then he is pretty bulky up top with a quite thin waist. Oh, that's actually that's actually quite good. Yes, yeah, so let's amp up the muscularity here. Maybe not like superhero but that looks pretty good make his arms just a little bit longer ever so slightly what happens if we play with the curves yeah that's fine oh yeah he is a proud kind of guy there we go that is looking all right so he used to be just in very ragged clothes, but recently he has been upgrading his armor. He's making his own hide armor. So maybe we can find something that fits this description. I know there's loads of options. Actually, can we here? What if we search for hide? Hide chest piece. Ooh, that looks like he's going to the mountains or something. I mean, wouldn't be wrong but like a little bit too cold i think mm. Ooh, i think this is probably a little bit too modern but that's a decent option some pants and i think just some regular leather pants let's use the search function Thieves leather pants, riding pants. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. He does not believe in shoes, so no need for that. And as of right now, he's not wearing anything on his head or anywhere else. Oh, let's see if we can make some gecko-like hands with the gloves. Plain gloves. Oh, what's this? Nope. Electric priest gloves. Not quite. I would like to see something. Um, with like ridges on the inside. I don't know if that exists. What is this? No power armor or well, what does that look like? Oh no, definitely not. What is this? Marksman's gloves. Ooh, scaly claws. Right, those have the things on the outside. Hmm. 
What is that? Forearm cast? No. Three Tundra gloves? Nope. Hmm, maybe I'll leave those scaly gloves for now. Well, we got all of that. And let's find a sword. I think I mentioned he just picked up a big old magical sword from the giant. So if there's anything with runes in it, that would be really nice. Maybe this kind of guy. Wait, this is the left hand. Let's put this in the right hand. Nope. That's uh, nice, but it almost looks a little bit small. And ooh, what do we got? Oh, that's a two-handed. Mm, that's maybe a little bit overkill. Hmm. Is there, is there anything with runes? Rune? All oh, the big ones. Ooh, what is this guy? Viking longsword. Oh yes. So the sword he picked up was actually made by a dwarf. So that. I think that checks out. I think that's better than this one. Um, there we go. Viking longsword. Great sword. Nope. Bastard sword. Nope. I think I like this. Here, this Viking longsword. Yes. And he does have a shield. All right. Let's get rid of this. Nope. Shield. There we go. I think all the other ones are a little bit too fancy. Maybe that's what. I get later on, but this regular kite shield looks pretty good. Tower shield is way too big. I like the look of this. Mm. I do like the look of this though. You know what, just, just for flavor, let's go with the elegant shield. You know, I'm going to have him for a while, so yeah, I think that's shark all decked out with equipment although ooh, can we have a little um dagger just a little dagger by his side um i don't want them and i don't believe you can adjust the size of those can you oh well okay let's stick with this for now I was gonna say he doesn't really need a backpack or minis generally don't need backpacks but I kind of like the way this looks he's an outdoors guy he tends to just walk away sleep in the woods you know what I'm gonna keep that backpack I like it all right this is the hardest part I believe the pose because I want a nice action pose Oh, actually, I don't think I need to look much further than that. Maybe, I don't know if we can adjust it slightly. I think we found his pose. There we go. The other arm is fine. I cannot, I can twist this, but I cannot make it smaller. It would be nice if I could look at this. Oh, wow, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Blank expression is actually spot on for him. There we go. Yep. Okay. Well, there we go. I think I made myself a mini. Okay. Okay, that is Shark all done. I did end up painting him all the way. Won't you look at that.